Hey, this is Dino, and I'm going to show you how to uh, create an API proxy that verifies an API key. So I was on the main dashboard page for Apigee Edge UI. You'll need to log in and uh, get situated, get your own org for that. Then once you do that, click the Proxies button, then add a new proxy. Um, just for this example, we're going to use a no target proxy. And we're going to flip through the, um, the wizard uh, and ask for API key verification. Um, we're going to have it listen on the default on the secure um, host uh, vhost, and we're not going to deploy it just yet because I want to have a look at it. Uh, so we'll click through to the no target proxy. Click on the develop tab, and you can see what it looks like. We have two policies: one that's verify API key, one that's removes the query param. And that's in case we invoke a backend system. What this is doing is. Uh, removing the query param API key that was passed in so that any backend system wouldn't see that, so we wouldn't leak that. So this looks good. Uh, let's deploy it. I'll deploy it to my prod environment. Then what I'm going to do is uh, invoke it uh, with curl. So we'll do curl, and this is the Amer demo to environment prod.apogee.net and I think we called it no target. So what's going to happen is, uh, where is it listening? It is listening on no target. Yes, I need to lowercase that. Okay, so what I've done is I've invoked the uh, API proxy and it said, hey, we're failing to resolve that uh, API key. If we wanted to actually see this in, in trace, we could do that, turn on the trace, uh, invoke it again, and you'll see a transaction appear here and it shows, hey, that very first policy is uh, finding no API key. Let's do something different. Let's do uh, API key equals rubbish. So it's a made up API key. We actually get a different error in that case. Um, in this case, it's going to say, hey, that's an invalid API key. Uh, and that is as expected. So how do we get a valid API key? Well, for that, back to uh, Apigee Edge. We can, there's nothing more we need to do in the API proxy, but we do need to create a, an API product that contains that proxy. So let's do that now. Click over into the products list plus API product. Um, we'll just call it new product. And we're going to add one API proxy, and that is my no target uh, API proxy. Uh, we will then make that active in prod and save it. We've now got a product. Now we need a developer. Uh, you can use any developer that is already ex existing, but I can also create one. So let's call this one Dino Valentino. And Valentino is the name uh, at example.org is the name of the email. And we now have a developer. Great. Let's go into the apps. Now we have a product. We have a developer. What we're going to do is create an app that belongs to that developer and maps to the product. So it's going to be um, app one. That's the name of it. It's a developer app. And it is going to be Dino Valentino, the developer I just created, and the product. And the product is going to be the new product that I just created. And we'll make it expire in 90 days, that API key. So we've just created an uh, app that belongs to uh, Dino Valentino, and it has credentials. What are those credentials? There is the consumer key or API key. There is the consumer secret. We're not actually using the consumer secret, uh, but in this case, we're using the consumer key. So let's try that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back over to my curl command. I'm going to paste that in. And what do you know? It works. That's it.